Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. There's been a new update to the NVIDIA DLSS DLL file. Everything you need to know, coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. So what is the NVIDIA DLSS DLL file? And I don't use DLSS, so will this help me? Well, let me explain. These DLSS files contain algorithms used in games that support deep learning super sampling technology. Newer versions of DLSS often enhance image quality, performance, or a combination of both. By downloading and replacing the DLL file in your game folder, you'll be able to unlock all the latest improvements. Now, this is not only going to be for those of us who are using DLSS, but also will enhance TAA mode in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. Not to mention, this will also benefit anyone using an RTX graphics card. All the links for what we're going to be going over today will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. The next question you might have is, well, how much performance increase could I expect by changing my DLSS DLL file? Well, that is really going to be system dependent and what hardware you're using on your system. So what that means is some people may notice a 20 or 30% increase in FPS, while others may only notice clarity improvements as well as maybe some ghosting improvements. So this will be something that you will need to try for yourself and there is a very easy method in which to do this. In today's video, we will go over the DLSS swapper tool and how to use this to update the DLSS DLL file for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content and find it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The tool we will be using today to swap our DLSS file for the newer version is called DLSS Swapper. Again, the links for this will be down below in the description. Once you're on this page, you will go over to the latest, download the installer.exe file, and run the installer. Once you have installed the DLS Swapper tool, go ahead and launch the application. All of your games should populate here in the Games folder. If they do not, there are some settings that you may need to change to get those to populate. If we head down to the Settings cog, in here, we have a couple settings that you want to make sure are turned on. All of the settings under your game library, you want to make sure that all of these are turned on so that it can scavenge all of these sources for any games that you may have installed. Once you have that done, there's one other section that I do want to go over here, and that is all the way at the very bottom. From time to time, you want to make sure that you check for updates because this will not automatically populate updates for you. All right, so now you've got all the settings correct, but your games are still not showing up properly. Make sure that you go up and hit the refresh button, and this will refresh all of the games for your system, and they should populate here now. The next thing that you'll notice on your screen that is different from what you see on mine, well, quite possibly because you may have a lot more games than I do, but the DLSS version under the Microsoft Flight Simulator game is probably going to say 2.4.1 or something along those lines. That is the current version of DLSS DLL file that your Microsoft Flight Simulator is using. Now again, please do not misinterpret this as DLSS. This is a DLSS DLL file which will control all of the graphics, TAA or DLSS. All right, so now I realize I have a super old version of the DLL file. How do I update that? The first thing you want to do is go to the library tab over on the left hand side. This will populate all of the very latest versions of the DLSS DLL file for all of your games. Now you're going to notice on yours that you do not have version 3.6. The highest that you're going to see is version 3.5.1. Even if you hit refresh, it's only going to populate up to version 3.5.1. Because the library is not populating the very latest version, 
what we need to do is to download this file from the Tech Power Up website. Again, links will be down in the description. Once you click on the link, it will bring you up on this page. The very top download is the latest NVIDIA DLSS DLL file. We can hit the download button and allow this to download the zip file on our PC. Okay, so now you have downloaded the new DLSS DLL file version 3.6. Now this will populate as a zip folder or zip file. You just want to extract that into its own folder in your download section, or you can put it right on your desktop. Now for sake of demonstration, I went one step farther and I double clicked on the new DLSS DLL folder and I copied the file and placed it right on my desktop right over here. All right, so now all we need to do is to import the new DLSS DLL file into our DLSS swapper tool. To do that, you would just tap on the import button at the top. You will then locate the new DLSS DLL file. In my case, I placed it on my desktop as the file itself. So I would just highlight the file, hit the open button, and then it will populate in your library. Now before I go any further, I do want to explain how you will download any of the other DLL files that you see in here. Not that you would want to, but any future updates may be available via the library directly. So let me go over that real quick. If there is a version that you would like to download inside of the library, all you need to do is to tick on the download button and it will automatically download that version for you. So now that we have the updated version downloaded, we can then go back to our game library. Once you're in the game library, you would then left click on any of the games that you want to change the DLSS file for. So for today, we're going to left click on Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this will bring up a selection box that we can then select which DLSS version we would like to install into Microsoft Flight Simulator or whatever game that you choose. On the left hand side of the selection here will give us all the various versions that are available. On the right hand side will tell us whether they are downloaded or that we require a download. For all the ones that we have downloaded, you will see that it will be blank next to the version number. And the one that we manually imported will show here as a file. So now let me show you how easy this tool makes it to swap out different versions. You would highlight the version you want and then hit swap at the bottom. Now let's say that you have changed your DLSS version, but you're not quite happy with the results and you want to go back to the original DLSS version. That's very easy as well. All we need to do is to go down and hit the reset button and it will automatically set us back to the original version that came with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Again, if we want to switch to another version, we can click on that, hit swap, and it will now swap to that version that I just selected. Now, a good rule of thumb here is if you want to switch between various versions, I would recommend to reset back to the original version first and then select your new version that you want to swap to. All right, so now that you have your new DLSS DLL file installed in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can now fire up the sim and let me know your results down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's content and found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.